forhold til din side til din ektefølge. Ja. Vil du elske og ære Priya og bli trofast hos Priya i gode og onde dager inntil døden skiller dere? Ja. For something that was classified as a romance feature, I thought it had absolutely everything. There's a love story, a journey, some illegal activity, a chase scene, and a really happy ending. I really liked the story. I thought it was just so interesting and so much fun to follow along with. And most of all, I loved the characters. They were so funny. Um, this was just the perfect thing to sit back and watch on the weekend. I really enjoyed it. Truly a delightful piece. Uh, so many layers and levels of humor to it. There is that nice hint of irony, there was the moment of slapstick, and then it almost had this epic feeling to it, almost like the movie The Hangover, with this ragtag group of gents getting into scenarios way over their head, and just the humor and finding out how the heck they're going to reach their goals and overcome all of this. Um, and it was through like the heart of the piece, which is friendship, which is love and loyalty um, and a sense of bravery kind of bordering on stupidity and that creativity that really came through and held the piece together. So we could go to those really big slapstick moments. We could go to uh, the more suspension of disbelief moments. And I was there for it all. I also loved that these characters were so refreshing in that they were guys you wouldn't typically see as the leads of a film. Just everyday mechanics. Um, and yeah, it was very refreshing in that regard. But great pacing, never a dull moment. Excellent execution of the comedy through great writing, through the use of silences, and then those constantly raising the stakes moments as well. Long Flat Balls 3 was, you know, very interesting comedy. Um, I mean, yeah, it was f funny uh, as an American watching it. I feel like it could probably be funnier um, for a Norwegian because it's probably jokes that um, don't aren't the same for Americans. But it was like the physical comedy, the you know, the relationships between the character relationships between the characters were interesting. Um, it's a, a funny like story with like the you know the alcohol and the you know. Kai being an idiot and not knowing that he's trapping alcohol and then the mobsters and the divorce and the marriage storyline um yeah he's you know pretty entertaining um overall so I think it was fun entertaining good um yeah the whole cast was you know pretty solid um yeah I didn't have any expectations going into this um, and was pleasantly surprised overall. I thought this was a lot of fun. Um, it was a really like fun journey story, mainly between the the group of guys that all worked at the the shop together. But it was all like they were all willing to do so much for this guy and his relationship and you know, trying to make it work. And I love how you have these different aspects of the story as well. It's not all about them and focused on them. You also have these like really fun, bizarre things that they've kind of tossed in with um, like this singer and her car needing to be fixed, but not knowing that she was like a famous singer at first. Um, and then with this guy who keeps like hitting the golf balls and like that whole story. And then, of course, the smuggling and everything else that is just a really fun adventure that they go on. Um, I thought it was really fun. I thought the chemistry and the relationships between everybody were really well done and really believable. Um, and it, by the end, especially when you're in, like, the reception scene for the wedding, you just feel a sense of, like, family and community and friendship that is really well portrayed, not just in that scene, but through the entire film. I really enjoyed this one. I thought that the film went in a lot of directions that I wasn't quite expecting it to go. Uh, the plot progressed in a way that was engaging, in a way that was fun, in a way that, that kept me watching, kept me interested, uh, but also still managed to surprise me. Uh, tonally, 
I wasn't quite sure where it was going at first, but I think the balance it struck between uh, the sillier aspects and the more sincere parts of the film uh, were done quite well. I enjoyed the central cast of characters. I thought that they were fun to watch, see them get into all kinds of trouble uh, and things like that. Uh, just overall, I thought that it was fun, it was different, it was exciting. Uh, I enjoyed my time with this. Uh, I never heard of the film, but I will uh, be looking into what they uh, what they do next or other projects that these people have done. I thought this was a lot of fun, uh, and I had a good time with it. All right, so I just finished watching um, Long Flat Balls 3, which is um, sort of a, a romantic comedy that's... Um, both good at being funny in terms of like physical humor or slapstick humor, like with the, a lot of the physical um, injuries that numerous central characters ended up having over the course of the journey. It was also quite interesting and in sort of um, reflecting the lives of normal people, which I thought was really good, and in, in not trying to um, create situations that were unrealistic, but rather try to ground the narrative in relatable concepts like um, trying to get married, trying to discover who you are as a person, trying to reorient relationships around you in terms of your friends and your family. And the story ends up going to places that you wouldn't necessarily expect by the time you get to the third act and turn into like an action piece. You really get that there's a, a passion and a flair towards this concept that sort of um, is reflective of the cultural implications of this particular place and sort of the universal themes of what it means to um, try to pursue your goals, even if it seems to be um, in a wild and zany way. So um, ultimately, I felt like the heart of this narrative was in its humor, but it also had a good sense of um, compassion to the characters and how they related to one another. And it ended up um, working for me on balance. This was a really great and entertaining film. I really enjoyed it. I thought the storyline was really engaging. It piqued my curiosity and maintained it throughout the, the feature film. Um, really, really cool, really humorous, really funny, and a nice mix of heartwarming, heart-touching moments. I definitely see it was more of a comedy adventure um, than a romantic drama, but still enjoyable on all levels. I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was just thoroughly delightful. It's uh, well written, well produced, great direction, cinematography is fantastic. It has the absolute uh, shape and feel of a feature, what we come to expect. The stunt work and actions were actually, uh, that stuff was actually great, really well done, um, and didn't feel out of place at all. Uh, the whole thing was really thoroughly enjoyable and honestly makes me want to look up some more Norwegian films. Really great job, everyone involved. Mm -hmm.